This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out all their new titles at luckyduckgames.com. Thank you for joining me here at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're looking at board games launching on crowdfunding campaigns the second half of January 2023. So that's January 16th through January 31st. I actually did mention a couple of them in my last video, Arborea and Marvel United Mutants. So I won't rehash all that. So these are new titles that will be launching on Kickstarter, GameFound, and BackerKit. Let's get started. <laughs> These first few launch on January 17th. We have Once Upon a Line from Lucky Duck Games. This is for one to five players, and each scenario takes about an hour to play. This is a narrative game played over a number of chapters. You're gonna be using actions to actually scratch off different parts of the board, revealing letters, and eventually making words. These words correspond to different cards that will progress the storyline. You'll do all this by accomplishing your mission, immersing yourself in the adventure, eluding different traps, and completing your quests. Facade Games launches Hollywood 1947. It's for one to nine players, takes about 20 to 40 minutes to play. This is a social deduction game. You're either a communist, a patriot, or a rising star. Each round, you'll get a unique job to perform like director, actor, screenwriter. These jobs will determine what kind of movie is going to be made that round, what cards are in players' hands, and what kind of special information will be revealed. At the end of each round, players with stars showing on their dice will get to add a card into the movie. These cards are then shuffled together, and the team with the majority of the revealed symbols wins that round. The first team to win four rounds wins the game. Zephyr Workshop launches A-E-G-I-S, Combining Robots Season 2. This is for one to six players, it takes about 25 to 120 minutes to play. You build a five robot team and fight and unite to victory in this light tactics game. In the box, it features dozens of new robots. Two player draft rules, a solo mode, and a new game mode, Star Pointer. On January 19th, we'll see a game called Scrap. This is for two to four players, it takes about 45 to 150 minutes to play. This is an area control game with lots of bots on the map. There's a little bit of hand building, hand management, some asymmetrical factions, and hidden bidding combat. These next few launch on January 23rd. Game Brewer launches Trolls and Princesses. This is for two to four players, it takes about 90 to 120 minutes to play. This is a worker movement game. You play as one of the four troll clans, and you're trying to get the Mountain King's favor. Ninth Haven Games launches Deep Shelf. This is for one to four players, it takes about 90 to 120 minutes to play. This is a game of deep sea exploration, exploitation, development, and research. Players take on the role of competing corporations seeking to find and develop resources, extract rare earth metals, transport them to the surface, and research the unexplored deepest reaches of the oceans. These next few launch on January 24th. Dark Doll Games launches Witchbound. This is a solo game that plays in about 30 to 90 minutes to play. You explore a magical island and become the first witch in over a century. Night Games launches Batman Escape from Arkham Asylum. This is for one to five players, it takes about 30 minutes to play. This is a semi-co-op dungeon crawl where you're actually trying to defeat Batman. These next few launch on January 31st. Renegade Game Studios launches The Search for Lost Species. This is a game for one to four players, takes about an hour to play. This game has some similarities with the search for Planet X, with some changes. It's a logic and deduction game. Instead of finding planets, you'll be looking for lost species. Some of the big changes are a way to visit town and a spatial aspect to the game. Exploded Games launches Alinthia. This is for one to five players. It takes about 60 to 150 minutes to play. You can play this co-op or competitive. In co-op mode, you're among the survivors who have united to free Alinthia from the dragons. You'll take your turn simultaneously, trying to band together to retake the land. In competitive mode, the dragons still roam the land, but they are fewer in number. You are competing against your fellow guild leaders to become the new leader of Alinthia. Cardboard Alchemy and Lucky Duck launches Andromeda's Edge. This is for one to five players, it takes about 40 to 200 minutes to play. This is a worker placement game, where your workers are upgradable starships, each with different special abilities. There's a modular game board, 
displaying regions of space with worker placement actions and sites for development. Throughout the game, you'll build new civilizations by constructing developments on planets, observatories, factories, finance centers, and more. The game ends when any player reaches the end game scoring threshold, and then you'll count up points to see who wins. Goliath Games and Restoration Games work together to bring a re-implementation of crossbows and catapults. This is for two players and takes about 20 to 60 minutes to play. This new version features engineered weapons and deeper gameplay. Also, our friends over the Dice Tower have launched their campaign on Kickstarter, so you can go check that out. Well, it looks like crowdfunding is ramping back up again for this new year. Let me know in the comments which campaigns you're excited about. I'd love to hear that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.